we are back with Dante Hall, Mr. Social Media <laughs> Sensation himself, comedian, actor, Instagram sensation. I already said sensation. Well, you he's too sensational. <laughs> Superstar. <laughs> You're such a sensation. <laughs> Don't hate Tay. <laughs> All right, so. With, I mean, how many followers do you have? I have uh, over 223,000. 223,000 oh, wow. followers has to have an impact, as you kind of mentioned earlier, on your dating life, mm -hmm. um, on your career. Does that, does what you do on online impact your career? That's, answer that first, because I want to um, know that. Like, your, your think, acting aspirations. Uh, some of it might be a little distasteful, but some of it is just for Instagram, you know, just to get numbers in. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, my I cater to, you know, the ratchet, yeah. <laughs> you know, the ratchet demographic. So some of that might come and bite me in my ass, but that's all, you know, my creative path. Mm -hmm. That's the path I'm going to, cope, you know, be where I need to be, but, um, my acting career. Wait, I'm so <laughs> this drink is. <laughs> well, I was like, wait, what was the question? <laughs> no, just does your Instagram persona impact your career, or do you think it could? That I think it could. I think it could. Negatively or positively? I mean, or so, both. But like I said, some of it's this taste, or some of it's kind of vulgar. But it's all in good. It's all in good fun. Like you know, Instagram, you can't post anything that a 13 year old could see. So I say my page is pretty much PG 13 with a little cussing. Right. Okay. But you, but you're very. Uh, I mean, you're an actor, right? So these are characters you portray. On right, that's very so. True. That's very true. Yeah. So five years from now, where do you see yourself? Five years from now, oh man. Um, hopefully, on some on some TV show, or hopefully, you know, doing my thing. I said not even if not here, LA, because that's okay. my next stop from Atlanta is LA. Um, well, you only been here three weeks. Right? I know. Enjoy I, this time. I know. Right, don't I, know. That I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I, I said I'm planning my seeds. I, I feel like networking. You have to be in that in that city because I won't be able to meet y'all, yeah. you guys, if I right. wasn't here. Mm -hmm. right. so there's no telling. You know, if I go to another, you know, city and or state, you know, sparkle some noise. What I could do there. So yeah, you definitely made the right move from Tallahassee to Atlanta to, to I network. Did. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Alone, networking alone is really, really great here. So right. Yeah, and so you moved here by yourself. I did. Wow. That was, was that a leap of faith for you? It was a leap of faith. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saved almost like I saved no lie. Like I saved like two thousand dollars and I moved. Uh really? Mm -hmm. And you was like, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm getting out of here. But you know You gotta do it. You, you gotta do it. And I didn't know you what my next step was. I didn't know the outcome of this, but so far, like I'm so happy that mm -hmm. I just kinda took that faith because like Oh, just you just get you get signs. Like I feel like this is a sign. Yeah. Me being here on y'all's couch, like oh, wow. it's a sign. Like <laughs> Thank I, you. I was in Tallahassee, I wouldn't be the Bachelor yeah. of September. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be on his couch. <laughs> But if I would have stayed home, I feel like this was the perfect move. Like I really do. Well, you know, just you know, from you saying that, I want to let you know we feel blessed that you're sitting on that. Absolutely. Couch. Thank y'all so, for me. Thank seriously, you. Seriously, seriously. So mm -hmm. that's your five-year career goal, mm -hmm. right? Your relationship goal, short term, six months, a year from now. Yeah, like what? Are, what are you looking for? Are you having fun? Are you seriously looking for a long-term relationship? You know, what is the bachelor of the month? What, what, where's your, what's your headspace? I'm, I'm trying to get me right. I'm okay. really trying to perfect. I'm trying to perfect my craft. I'm seriously like I'm in Atlanta. I want to kind of hone in, and I know if I'm trying to hone in, like even till today, like I can't even balance like a good meal, let alone a boyfriend. Right. So, I'm trying to like hone in and focus on me. So honestly, like six for six months, a year from now, I'm probably trying to you know be more focused on me. But so, it came along. I, okay. This just popped into my head. Mm -hmm. Do people what what kind of DMs do you get? Dick pigs. <laughs> I get tits. Believe it or not, I get tits. tits. I get I get moves <laughs> all day. Um, I get all, I get a lot of inspirationals. I get a lot of um like moms, like a lot of moms in me of that, which really surprised me about my page because I do cater to women with my wigs and whatnot because. They're like, you give me so much courage to be like sexy, you don't care about what oh, you wow. say. Right? Really? I'm like, 
her. I'm just shaking my behind. I <laughs> thought you was going to say you got a lot of uh, messages from moms with gay sons. Uh, right. Oh, but no, no, no. I also get those too. I forgot. Like I was getting distracted by the women. <laughs> like, they're always like, you made me feel sexy, but then I do get a lot of people like, you know, aunties, like my nephew or something, or my brother, he watches your videos. I know this one girl, like two sisters hit me up, and they were like, my brother watched your videos, and he's like more comfortable with himself. I can see him smiling. He loves your page every time you oh, post something. He's like, look what Dante posts, and I'm like, I never thought I would add that kind of like. People are watching you, mm -hmm. and I you know, I want to. I don't estimate it. You have a. A huge responsibility, whether you want it or not, mm -hmm. you do have a huge responsibility because there's a lot of people watching. People that are younger than you, like high schoolers, mm -hmm. like I think, want you to think, think about like that. This. Yeah, the, those two hundred and twenty-seven thousand followers, double it. That's how many people. Mm, it's probably even more. Probably than even more than that. But everyone doesn't like a page, but everyone watches. That's and so that it is a result yeah and I think that you're doing I, I think that you're doing a, a, a lot of positive work mm -hmm. you know I think you reach a lot of people you know I just want you to as you carry on your career right. realize the responsibility you have for the black gay boys that are watching you always have to be conscious of that because right, right, you know where you were as a young black gay boy yeah we didn't have these images that's very true you know what I'm saying we didn't have it so you know to for people to be able to laugh at you and, and you'd provide that good feelings for them like People watching you every day. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to kind of you take that. So no more dick pics in the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> he like a dick pic though. I'm sure you like a dick pic. <laughs> but he ain't no bottom though. Right. He ain't no bottom. <laughs> he just like to look at the dicks. What a ass shot. <laughs> Any last words that you want to leave with the audience? Um, any little nuggets of inspiration? <laughs> any nuggets of inspiration? Um, my one of my hashtags is do you Google? Like, if you ever feel like society doesn't approve of what you're doing, or you feel like you're masking your real self to you know comfort somebody else, don't do it. Just be you because in the long term, like you'll be so much more happier and comfortable with yourself, you'll inspire somebody else. And I, and I learn that every day, like just by being myself, I influence and inspire people that I never thought I could reach out to. Mm -hmm. So I just say, do you, boo-boo, right. do you. Oh, I wish I knew that at 22. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. I'm <laughs> just serious. You. Do you, like, ugh, I wish, I wish. And this, this is how Dante is making love work for him. He's doing him, mm -hmm. boo -boo. Absolutely. <laughs> So if you are interested in dating and having fun with Dante, you want to send him a dick pic, maybe? No. <laughs> and ask him. Right. Both. Send both. But welcome Dante to Atlanta. <laughs> Hit him up. You know, he's a fun guy. He already lets you know what he's looking for. He's looking to meet new people and network. And if mm -hmm. something happens, it does. If it doesn't, it, it doesn't. Right. So thank you guys. If you have any suggestions for Bachelor of the Month, please send them in. I'm going to www.thegentlemansfoundation.org and getting your tickets to the Gentleman's Ball that's going to take place on October 31st of this year. We're going mm -hmm. beyond the mask. Yes, Masquerade <laughs> Affair is going to be huge. We're expecting bigger numbers this year. Absolutely, it's gonna be awesome. An award ceremony, live entertainment. We are honoring LGBT artists. Mm -hmm. oh. We are honoring, we're honoring politicians. We're honoring mm -hmm. community activists. It is going to be one grand old gay time. Absolutely, <laughs> and don't, don't forget the three course meal, unlimited cocktails, dancing, yeah. Karama Brown is coming back this year to co-host <laughs> www.thegymnastfoundation.org Check it out. Peace. Love you all. <laughs> <laughs> you so we may not always agree on everything, but we can all agree on the importance of looking out for our families and friends. And standing together in the fight against HIV. Everyone should get tested for HIV at least once as part of routine health care. Gay and bisexual men may benefit from more frequent HIV testing and should consider getting tested every three to six months. Knowing your status and taking whatever next steps it requires makes you and our community stronger. stronger. HIV testing is free. Visit gettested.cdc.gov stronger.